Hello friends. So uh, I welcome you all to the next lecture, uh, which is on boost regulators. So at present we are discussing DC DC converters or DC DC regulators. In that we have learned uh, uh, the basics of uh, chopper. Then we have learned uh, the concept that is volt second balance and uh, ampere second balance, which are there when you use inductor and uh, capacitor in steady state. Then in next, we had uh, started with discussing the various types of regulator. In that buck regulator, which is a step down regulator used to reduce the voltage was discussed in the previous video. This video, uh, we are going to discuss the boost regulator, right? So this is the block diagram of a DC switch mode regulator in which the last part DC DC regulator where you require voltage greater than the uh, input voltage uh, is to be discussed today. So these are the three varieties, buck regulator or step down regulator was discussed in previous uh, video. This video will discuss boost regulator or step up converter. So what's a boost converter? Obviously it gives boost, that is it gives output voltage greater than the input voltage. It's a DC where you can say it's a sort of arrangement where DC step up transformer like situation is here. Now this is the circuit. Now you can see over here, the place of inductor and diodes are changed over here and switch which was there in the main power line is now connected across the supply. So this is the power electronic switch in different different uh, configuration. I am showing different different switches. We know we can use in this DC DC regulator. We can use MOSFET or IGBT or BJT as a switch. Here I have shown a MOSFET as a switch, which can be turned on by uh, uh, applying a gate signal over here. Right? Uh, it's a voltage operated switch. So this is the arrangement and this is the load across which we are getting the output, right? And this is the arrangement which gives output more than the voltage which is sub, uh, voltage supply is PS. The MOSFET as a switch M1 is shown over here. Now let's see the working. So this is the boost converter. When it is turned on, when this switch is turned on, now what is going to be the situation? The voltage across uh, inductor is going to be equal to the supply voltage Vs. As a uh, full voltage is applied, we assume current increases from I1 to I2. Of course, we are discussing this operation when this circuit is in steady state. So uh, very frequently with say uh, frequency as high as one kilohertz, we are operating this, uh, uh, this uh, switch M1. It is in operation for very long time. The output voltage and output current have stabilized in steady state. And in that situation, what happens in a T on time and what happens in a T off time, that is what we are discussing over here, right? So it is not that very first time it is uh, uh, taking place. So this is the switching operation is taking uh, place for a very long time. And when they are in steady state at that time, its operation is discussed in this circuit, right? So of course, when the switch is turned on, which is switch is turned on over here, there is no positive voltage left to this uh, diode uh, anode side, so it is reverse bias. So then this circuit is uh, disconnected. Now, this is going to be the equivalent circuit uh, when the switch is turned on. When the M1 is turned on, you can see the arrangement is like this. That means whatever is Vs, the same is uh, available across the inductor. So for D times Ts, which is uh, the on time, T on time, the voltage across inductor is Vs. Now, when it is off, that is T off time. So when this switch is off, of course the uh, forward voltage is going to be there in this situation, right? Now what is going to be the situation? The voltage across inductor is now reduced to VL, which is Vs minus V0. So because of which the current also will now, initially the Vs voltage was available across inductor. So current was uh, increasing. Now the voltage is reduced, so current also has to go down. As current is reducing, the D I by DT is going to be negative. So the polarity of voltage, current will decrease from I2 to I1. 
and the polarity of VL will re be reversed compared to the previous uh, case. Of course, D1 is forward bias. And this is going to be the equivalent circuit when this switch is off. Right? So you can see what you are supposed to note is the reverse polarity over here. VL is now positive on this side, minus on this side. That happens because the current is reducing from I2 to I1. You know? That's why di by dt is going to be negative. So uh, if you apply case C as Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop, we can write equation in this fashion. And so we get voltage across inductor to be minus of Vs minus V0 for the T of time, which is one minus D times Ts. D is a duty ratio. So the waveform of the boost converters are going to be something like this. First, let's see the situation for T on time, that is D times Ts, the voltage across inductor is Vs. And for T of time, that is one minus D times Ts, the voltage across inductors is minus of Vs minus V0, right? So this is, you can see, this is the T on duration, that is D times Ts, that is equal to Vs, magnitude of the voltage across inductor, and it is minus of Vs minus V0 when uh, the switch M1 is turned off. So this is the T on duration for which current is increasing, and then current is decreasing in this second duration, right? So because of this operation, how much voltage V0 we are getting, that is what is to be derived. So uh, let's consider the voltage waveform only. So you can see over here, if this is the voltage waveform for one time period, this much is the one time period, Ts. So volt second balance tells me that the average Voltage under the inductor for one time period is zero. So I am writing area under the curve for one time period. So Vs into D times Ts, that is area under this curve, plus minus Vs minus into Vs minus V0 times one minus D times Ts is this duration. So that is going to be equal to zero, right? That is average. And if you simplify, Mathematically, you get V0 is equal to Vs divided by 1 minus D. Now, what is D? D is a number which is duty ratio, which is generally less than 1, right? At the most, it can be 1. So, if it is less than 1, so if you divide any number by a number which is less than 1, then the result is going to be the higher than the original number. So, if Vs divided by 1 minus D is always going to be greater than Vs. So, in short, this way, V0 you can get as high, uh, higher than Vs. Now what happens when switch is off, this Vl plus Vs will come across over here, V0. Is it not? So on and all by duty ratio control, this is the formula which governs it. So V0 is greater than Vs. So this is how it is stepping up the DC voltage or a boost converter uh, is, uh, this is how it's working, right? So let's summarize the boost converter. It gives output voltage greater than the input voltage. BJD MOSFET or IGBT can be used as a switch. Switch is connected in uh, across the supply as shown. The place of diode and inductor uh, are changed compared to the buck converter. The variation is achieved. That is, uh, you can vary the output voltage V0 by duty ratio control. And switching frequency of the switch should be high. Uh, generally, it is in the range of 1 kilohertz to 3 kilohertz. So this is the formula of V0 is equal to Vs divided by 1 minus D, where D is T on divided by Ts, which is a, a number between 0 to 1. And so overall, you are getting increased voltage. So this is a quick understanding about a boost converter. For detailed understanding, you are requested to refer to good standard books, reference books, and understand the topic in detail, right? So this is all about the boost converter, which is uh, the second uh, variety in DC-DC regulators. Uh, next, in next video, we are going to discuss about the buck boost converter, right? So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching.